Hello everyone, my name is Debbie Biba and I'm a picture book agent and this is Storytime, where I read picture books by authors and illustrators we represent. Today's picture book is called When I Am Big by Maria Deck and published by Princeton Architectural Press. Um, you might remember um, the very first story time I read was a book by Davide Cali and was illustrated by Maria Deck. Do you guys remember what that book was called? Hmm? Yes, Good Morning Neighbor. So Maria um, wrote the text and illustrated this book. Okay, let's begin. When I am big. When I am big, I'm going to be really big, like one big giant. I will ride a bicycle that has two horns. Toot toot. I will tie my shoes all by myself, and I will make three knots with big bows. I will have four hats for my adventures to the south, the north, the east, and the west. I will eat a cone with five scoops of ice cream for lunch. I will put six spoonfuls of sugar in my coffee. Has anybody ever had five scoops of ice cream for lunch? I haven't and I am big. I will have seven different jobs for each day of the week. You see the different jobs? So it looks like this person's repairing a clock. Uh, an oyster diver, a gardener, a very special gardener, a weather reporter, um, an opera singer, and this just, this person here, I just can't figure out what that person is doing. Either making cookies or adding chocolate chips or counting something. I don't know. If anybody can figure that out, let me know. And then we have someone walking. Looks like a walker, but what is the person? What is he walking? Let's see but my favorite job will be walking animals. I will have eight of them and I will teach them how to do tricks. And look at the animals that uh, he's walking. Kind of crazy. And that's the same image on the, on the cover. I will jump over nine puddles, all of them at once. That's a big leap. Are there nine puddles there? Can you count them? I will dash down 10 ski slopes. I will play a trumpet with 11 buttons and I'll be the loudest of our 12 member band. Does anyone know how many buttons a trumpet has? Because I don't. I will live in a tree house with 13 windows that look out on a volcano, the North Pole, and the moon. Look at how cool that tree house is. Isn't that neat? Okay. I will climb 14 branches to get to my tree house. It will be so big that a family of 15 bears will fit inside. I will race through the forest like the wind. 16 tall trees will lead the way. I will build a roller coaster that has 17 cars and is 17 miles high. I will have 18 pet spiders. Who knows if they'll all have names. I will have a long dinner table with 19 chairs and I will eat 20 pizzas in one sitting. Look at those chairs, I love them. They're all different. And can you see the tablecloth? There's um, mushrooms on them. I will feed crumbs to my 21 bird bird friends, and we will sing together. I will have a colorful collection of 22 feathers. 
I will play hide and seek between the 23 houses in my neighborhood. Look how colorful those feathers are. I will have pillow fights with 24 pillows every night. I will go to bed at 25 o'clock. Do you guys know what time 25 o'clock is? And in the morning, I will wake up even bigger than the day before. The end. So that's when I am big. Um, I thought I wanted to tell you guys a story about um, about when I was big. Um, so I'll just tell you a story. So a few years ago, maybe like 10 years ago, I was, I was big then too. Um, we were in the mountains. We stayed at this place in the mountains and in the, in the backyard they had, this, they had this trampoline. And so you could jump on the trampoline and I was having so much fun. I was jumping and jumping. I was doing the splits like, went, woo, like that jumping. And um, must have been playing for a long time. And finally, I think a girl was waiting in line, a little girl, and then she said, excuse me. And I said, oh yeah, I'm sorry. You know, oh, I'm sorry, do you wanna come and play on the trampoline? And she said, no, no, I was just wondering, are you uh, a, girl, a little girl or an adult? And I said, um, what do you think? And she said, well, I don't know. And I said, well, I'm an adult. And she said, oh, I, I wasn't sure. And she thought I was a little girl because I was playing on the trampoline. Um, so that's just to say that sometimes when we're small, we can do things like feel big, and when we're big, we can do things and feel small. Um, I do have another story, um, and it's when I was small. So when I was small, around four years old, and I'm, I'm telling you the story because I'm reminded by my, by my quarantine haircut. When I was four, I felt very big. I felt very big, and I thought adults um, were perceiving me as young, but that I was very big. And so um, I invited a friend over and I told my friend that we were gonna play hair salon. So she said, oh, fantastic. So I went and got um, a pair of scissors and I went to my room and we decided to cut each other's hair. And so I, I, um, I think I went first and like just chopped off her hair. I had long hair. And then, um, then it was her turn. I gave her the scissors and then she chopped off my hair. And then we, we went like chop, 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 took turns until finally my hair, I remember I had no bangs left, literally. Um, then my mom came in and she couldn't believe it and there was nothing left to do because basically our hair was completely uh, a mess. Um, and so that's something I did when I was little, but I felt really big. So, um, so those are my stories. Um, I'm sure you guys have some fun stories too, or maybe even you can think about all the things that you'll do when you're big. Okay. So now it's time for our magic magnifying glass where I, I can't see. Can I, oh, there, there, okay, oh yeah, yeah, there. I see Julian, I see Julian, hey, I see Henry, I see Henry a lot. I see Rob and, is that, oh yeah, it's Margaret, hello Margaret, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.